Okay, with this video, I want to share with you a lot of different uh, core exercises to give you some more options. Um, we always talk about abs, which typically is just the front of our core, but we've also got the, the side, the obliques, and the lower back to take care of. And so we want to just pretend like you've got a belt on around you. We want to address all those different muscles when we work out. Um, I hope I get this right because I've been doing this a bunch and I keep screwing up and I'm getting sore abs from demonstrating this five and six times and not being able to make it through. So wish me luck. Okay, so first, first a reminder, when you do um, core, any exercise you do, you should always have your core nice and tight. Remember, we want to have those muscles engaged to help protect us. This is where all the energy comes from and it goes out to the extremities. So uh, remember that any time you're working out, you should be working out your core. But these are specifically to isolate um, your core muscles. So the first one, just to review really quick, a sit-up, traditional sit-up as you know, lying down like this with knees bent, you'll come up either elbows to knees or just hands on the side of the knees. Most people though prefer crunch, there's less stress on their lower back. If they just come up to about right here, just when you see that, when your muscles start to engage and you feel that resistance, if you just go up that high, you're gonna be working your abs. So you don't have to do a full-blown sit-up every time on those. Um, and then another version, what you can do, if you were to have like a monkey bar and you're hanging out a bar and you're pulling your knees up to your elbows or your, your legs up, that's pretty difficult. Most people are going to get more tired in the upper body than they will with their abs before that. And so you can do a reverse one. And with this, you just want to make sure life flat, keep your lower back flat on here, support yourself on the side, and then just bring your legs up. So this is just a, a reverse, you know, straight leg lift. You can do it if it's too hard you can bend your knees like this if it's too much to do it straight so that's a reverse sit up reverse crunch one of my favorite ones is kind of a little trickier but you can work up to this if you just kind of sit down like this in this position put your hands behind your knees lean back a little bit and then get to where you can lift your your heels up off the ground once you're balanced like that and then see if you can balance and take your hands off so while you're in this balanced v position like this we call this an accordion crunch where you just see how far you can go each direction. When you start, you might just be barely moving, but if you're just balancing here, you're working, trust me. But then you can get, with time, you can get more range of motion in there. So those are called accordion crunches. Um, I've got a couple exercises I wanna show you for, for lower abs. Here's another one where you're lying on your back. Um, instead of just going straight up, with the legs, one thing I like to do is put like a pillow or a weight or something. And so I will come up over it, kind of jumping over something with your heels, like kind of like windshield wipers here. So you can put something on the ground and raise your feet over it, do it that back and forth. That's a good one. Um, also there is scissor kicks or like flutter kicks where you just kind of do this. And you'll feel those pretty quick, not just in your abs, but in your, your upper legs at the same time. And then the bread and butter one, which is great for most people, I believe, is the plank. And with the plank, you want to make sure your shoulders are above your elbows. And then make sure you're not sagging, or you're not up like this, but a nice straight line. And then you can just hold this. It's just a, a static motion where you just hold it. And remember to breathe on these. Especially remember um, on a static one when there's no in or out or no uh, motion to it, don't just hold your breath on these. Um, and typically, you're gonna exhale on the hardest part when you're having the most exertion. That's when you wanna have a slight controlled exhalation on these. Okay, so th that, those will all work the front of your, your core, your abs. Now, to talk about the obliques, the muscles here on the side, these typically come into play more when you're twisting or turning is when you utilize these. So we can do a side plank that'll do this one. So. Elbow under shoulder again, just lie on your side. And then what we'll do is we'll come up, hand on your hip like this balance, and just come down and touch your hip to the floor, and then back up. And we'll just do a bunch of these on each side. Well, when you start, if you can only do two or three or four, that's not a problem, just start. You'll, you'll gain strength quickly as you do these if you're consistent, like three times a week with some of these things. Okay, and then um, here's another one for, for your obliques for the sides. Just get in the sit-up position again, and then we're gonna come up like you're doing a, a crunch, and you're gonna put your hands to the side, and you're gonna reach towards your heel on each side while you're elevated in crunch position. So these heel taps, these are called, these will help you kind of get the side muscles there. And then another one 
famous for obliques. This is called Russian twists. So again, we're gonna come back into this balance position, take our heels up off the ground, and you can do this with just your hands or you can hold a weight if you want, but just kind of twist side to side your torso as you're balancing. So you're getting some rotation along with that contraction in the abs. So this will work your obliques more than regular setups. Okay, and now when we talk about core, most people think about the front, but probably the most important muscles for you to strengthen would be your lower back. Most people don't have problems with, oh, my upper back's hurting, it's always down here from slouching over, bad posture, whatever. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show you four quick exercises you can do for your lower back. First one, I like these, these are bird dogs. These, just go into tabletop position, hands and knees, and you'll take right arm and left leg out at the same time, and then come in and alternate. So you're just gonna do this motion, and this you'll feel in your lower back, a little bit in your glutes, but uh, this is a great one for strengthening your lower back, and it's not too difficult either, it's not too hard. Um, and then there's a couple you'll do lying down on the ground, on your face down. This first one's Superman. So the Superman, just pretend like you're Christopher Reeves in the 70s on a, on a cardboard box here in front of a green screen, and you're just gonna go like this, come up and down. And this has some variations you can do to it. One I really like is the skydiver. So you put your hands behind you, palms towards the ceiling. And with this one, just do the same thing. It's always more exciting if you can pretend you're skydiving when you're doing these exercises. And then there's the, the T Superman or the cross Superman, hands out to the side, you're just doing the same thing. You're really gonna feel this wherever you do this though. So it's hitting your lower back. Okay, and then one more with this, I call these swimmers, you're gonna alternate, it's kind of like doing a bird dog that we just did, except you're just flat on your stomach. So for this one, right arm, left leg up. And you don't have to come up super high, if it's just, you know, getting an inch off the ground is all. But with time, your strength and your, your range of motion is gonna improve. So I just wanted to put these out there because some of you, if you're having a hard time doing all the exercises that I've shown, remember you don't need to do all those. So I'm just trying to give you options, but um, if you really had to limit it to certain exercises, these core ones are really important. So you should pick some of these that you do regularly. And then maybe the push-ups and squats are probably your biggest bang for the buck. If you have to limit what you're doing for resistance training. Anyway, I encourage you to implement these core exercises, whichever ones you like. Give them a shot, see which ones, work on these. They'll make a big difference in your, uh, in your strength and in stabilizing and in your um, overall wellness. So I'll talk to you tomorrow.